deep section carbon wheels. They look incredible, they sound amazing, they make you more aerodynamic, they save weight, but how robust are they? Well, with the help of a forest, jumps, black runs, and a pro mountain biker, Hello. we're gonna find out. Previously on GCN, Ollie and Alex tested the 50 millimeter wind space hyper wheels around the mean streets of Bath. They survived everything we threw at them, including the staircase of death. Having failed to destroy the wheels, we decided to up the ante. That's right, we're back. And full disclosure, Windspace is making this video happen because they have some new wheels and they're super confident that they're even stronger than the ones we failed to destroy last time. So confident, in fact, that they've dared us to try and destroy them with the help of Blake. Hiya, hiya. If you're unfamiliar with Blake, here's a 10 second montage of Blake. If you're unfamiliar with Windspace, they're based in China, which is where most of the expertise in carbon fiber bike manufacturing is these days. And they've been gaining a great reputation recently for building quality wheels that they sell direct to consumer. Now they've got two sets for us to try and destroy here today. The first one are these mega wheels. Uh, that's what they're called, mega. They're not just mega. They've got aerodynamically optimized rim profiles, 46 millimeters front, 54 millimeters in the rear, ceramic bearings in these bad boys with carbon hubs. They've got carbon spokes, which have a new construction. You said save weight, all in super light, just 1375 grams a pair. Despite that low weight, Windspace reckons they're even stiffer than the hyper wheels we had last time. We also have their Grapid gravel wheels, which are 38 millimeters deep, carbon rims too, and 32 millimeters wide to accommodate wider tires. They also have, rather than the carbon spokes, steel spokes and also oversized steel bearings to give better durability off-road. And those are light as well, just 14, 13 grams a pair. Let's get to it. And Blake is around here somewhere. Ready. I'm ready for it. Is this enough roadie for you? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe a bit a bit more than enough. You can wear your baggies if you want. Yeah? Well, if you're gonna be more comfortable, I mean I'm gonna get you to do some pretty gnarly stuff. Oh yeah. Right. So Baggies it is then. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I think that's best for everyone. Time now for our first destructive test. Cool, look at beautiful filament wound wheels, these, aren't they? Definitely look the part. They do. They're actually, well, knitted by robots. It saves, well, it's more efficient, it's more precise than traditional carbon layup techniques. Than grannies and... Like your nan um, knitting yeah. them. Yeah. Um, <sighs> first up, we've got a, a, a run here in the Forest of Dean. Mm -hmm. I want you to send it down there, Blake. I want you to go as fast as you can. Okay. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit timid, to be honest. Uh, not much grip, very small rotors. It's not a full suspension bike, but I'm quite used to a hardtail, so mm. we'll have a go. This is a hard front and tail. <laughs> hard front and tail? <laughs> yeah. It's a road bike. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, right. right. Dropping in. Dropping in, dudes. Yeah. See you at the bottom. Oh, straight into a paddle. I'm going to head to the bottom to meet Blake. Will the wheels survive? Insane. It feels, it feels the, the easiest trail feels gnarly on yeah. one of these bikes. Yeah. Right. Really crazy. Well, it's rough. We need to inspect the damage. I mean, they look on, like they've, they've survived. Yeah. Quite a lot of sealant. 
A lot of burping going on, yeah. Well, we, Each let the, root we let the and pressure rut. down <laughs> yeah. to give you a bit more grip. It was as much as grip as I can get. Look at that. Right, oh, let me just spin these. Let me spin it. They look fine. That's true. I'm looking at it against the fork. Yeah. It's true. The front wheel is true. Let's check that one. It's true. Yep. Better. It's not, I mean, not bad, is it? I was watching you hammer it down there and like do <laughs> jumps to us. Fair play. <laughs> but like, I'm surprised, but I'm not that, I'm not like totally surprised because they, the previous wheels of these um, did survive the staircase of death when I sent Peyton down that. And these ones are said to be even stiffer than that because the spoke construction's been improved. They used to have alloy ends at each end of the carbon spokes. These ones, um, they're alloy onto the nipple, but then the carbon spokes are now bonded to the special uh, mega carbon hubs. And Windspace says that actually makes them stiffer <laughs> and stronger than before. It, they do definitely feel stiffer. It saves 50 grams as well, which is always nice. Um, well, there you go. Right, we need uh -huh. to up the ante. How are we gonna kill these? Bring on the jumps. Look, what have we done? I sprung a leak. I tell you what, yeah. these wheels are stiff. Now that there, in a turn, you kind of square it off. It's like, it's called a schwalp. Right. So you kind of push the back end these into it. These are mountain it. bike <laughs> words that I just don't know. I'm gonna... <laughs> but when you do it on a mountain bike wheel, some wheels flex a lot and you can feel like a whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. That, nothing. It's like stronger than a mountain bike wheel. It's it, stiffer than a mountain bike wheel. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, they, 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 that's what they say. We've got all, you can see all the sealant mm, coming out coming here. out there. It, what's happened here is we've kind of like reached the limit of what road tyres are capable of. <laughs> yeah. Before the, before the <laughs> wheel has failed, yeah. we've killed the tyre. Definitely killed the tyre. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap the tyre and put another one on. But for now, I think this is a good point to switch to the gravel wheel. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Because um, it's got a slightly bigger tyre on yeah. it. I'm not, I'm not letting you off easy there. We're going UCI legal 30, 33 millimetre cross tyre. Okay, whatever that means. So, how much are these wheels? Uh, $2,250. And I was just doing what I was doing on these wheels over there. Well, they, su they survived. Dude, if I knew that was my money, I would never do that. Right, well... I've got the gravel ones here. These these are a bit more kind of robust. They, yeah, they've um, these are seven hundred and ninety eight dollars a pair. Okay, cheaper than but them. very light. Just one thousand four hundred and thirteen grams a pair. That's pretty good. That's really good. A steel spokes though, not the carbon spokes. Okay, um, and they haven't got the the same hubs on, but wider. We've got bigger tires. No excuses on this one. No, why? Well, do you know why? I feel like with stainless steel spokes it's going to be a little bit more compliant on rougher terrain than these full-on rigid carbon things. So I can push it a little bit more. Only one way to find out. Bring on the jumps. <laughs> I bring on the jumps. What do I do with this beautiful bike? <laughs> I'll take that one. I'll, I'll go repair it. No, thank you. Blake, you're making this look far too easy on, oh. on the gravel oh. wheels and tyres. A gravel bike's a very capable rig, especially yeah. with the tyres. And the wheels feel more compliant compared to the fully rigid carbon ones. Yeah, well, interesting that. Well, I, we're going to up the stakes. We're going to make this harder for you. Um, we need to go to a black run. A black run? Yeah. In the wet? Come on. Okay. We're just going to go head up find a black run. Uh, before I do though, I just want to uh, do a free hub sound check because these bad boys, ceramic bearings, as I mentioned, 36 tooth star ratchet in these. So let's see what they sound like. <laughs> Bit of dirt on the rotor. <laughs> nice. 
Also, Freehub's not dragging at all. Freehub's still in good shape. Good. All right. Come on then. Find that black run. That doesn't look inviting at all. Look at it. Slick rock, roots, it's wet, skinny tires. <sighs> all right. Watch this. Doesn't look very inviting now, to be sure. Like, look at this bit here. This is... Do you want to have a go? Oh, why am I doing all the scary stuff? You should have a, have a, a gander at this. Y yes. Um... I thing is, I don't want to make it look too easy right. for, for the viewers and stuff. Right. And also, I mean, this is like a black run here. Yeah. I've actually done this one before. Yeah, you have. So, you know what I mean? Like, I think... I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. I think, I think you should. Okay. Look after that one. Okay. Play. Yeah, it's yeah. rough. It is rough. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> it is rough, but apart from all of that, it's holding up. Like Let's I lift them up. Let me have a look. It's not even... I haven't burped it. The brake's rubbing the a brake's little bit. The brake's rubbing. But the wheel is true. What the about front the front one? one? Have a go. Tech man. Tech man. Techno man. <laughs> look at that. Apart, look, apart from burping the front, yeah, I haven't done the rear. It's true still. It is, yeah. And it doesn't sound like it's cracked or broken. No. I'm, to be honest, I'm disappointed. I am as well. What's the next step? Well, we need to up the... Well, so these wheels have to undergo very thorough uh, safety standards mm. from the ISO. There's a variety of tests. There's like not just sort of impact tests and strength tests. There's temperature, thermal tests in all ovens and all sorts. Wow. One of the tests they have to satisfy to be UCI legal. UCI right? legal? Yes. Right is um, this test where they have to survive a shock where they drop an anvil. An anvil? Onto a wheel without a tyre on. And it has to well, survive how heavy that. is this anvil? Don't worry about that. But this has given me an idea. Right. Oh, don't. How do you feel yeah. about riding one of these oh, I can, I know wheels with, without a, without a tyre on? Yes. Yes. Let's do it, yeah. <laughs> There's something weird about riding carbon on rock. Yes. Oh, I mean, don't, don't, don't try this at home. Mm -mm, but no. Just because we, I mean, people... For scientific which, reasons, we yes. can do it. And when we're, we're testing them to destruction, and they've survived everything so far, so... Oh, yeah. So far, for a gravel bike, that's really rough. Let's give it a whirl. All right. Who's going to take the tyre off? It's dirty. I don't want... Do you want me to do it? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Oh no. Oh no, you're killing me. <laughs> nah, no, it breaks do that. it breaks rocks. It broke the rock! Look at that. It broke the rock! It broke the rock. Oh. <laughs> right. Can we kill the tire now? The wheel. Can we kill the wheel now? Uh, if anyone can, I think you can. Can try. It sounds so horrible, doesn't it? That is like fingernails down a blackboard times a thousand. Yeah. It's well, awful. From that little bit there, the bead, the hook is still good. Great. There's no bit like an aluminum frame would have kind of oh, I'm creased. So, I'm so sorry, everyone. Um, right. Should we go down that black trail again? Yeah, go on then. All right. Okay, 
So we've got this little drop right here onto a boulder, but above it is got some rocks. Now I have ridden through there with tires on. I think I should ride it with no tire on and see if it survives. If it can get down that and not delam, as in delaminate, then I think it passes the test, don't you think? Yeah. I think that's sufficient. I think that's sufficient torture for the for the wheel. I think I mean that looks horrendous. I know this is it looks sacrilege and it it is a little bit, but for science and experiment it is it's necessary just to prove how strong wheels are. So he has this little rock garden section. We've got a root section at the top. We've got to traverse over these bed roots and then it actually drops down onto the fire road where Ollie is. I'm gonna do a massive skid just to show off in front of him. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, collapse on me. But what I'm worried about is there's no grip there. There's no grip. But weirdly you can ride on a wheel without a tire because of the groove. It's like riding on rails. It's very strange. It's very strange. I've done it before. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's go back up there and ride this section of trail with no tire. It's, uh, that is insane. It's nuts, it hasn't, compl <laughs> hasn't col collapsed. How did you do that? I don't know, well, tr just no brains right, really. spin it. Spin it? Yeah, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got you around the nose. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's do that again. Ready? Yeah. Huh? It look, I mean, I'm trying not to. It's, in, it's just spraying all over my face. <laughs> Apart from there, can, can you? Oh, hang on. Yeah. Oh, just... Yeah, we have bro we have broken it. Yeah, but it's not. It's not like. Right. So we have. We have. That's extreme, you've, isn't it? You've broken the wheel, Blake. I'm very sorry. But. <laughs> um... <laughs> but although you you've broken the like. The, Don't the hook. keep saying it. Yeah. The hook is broken. Yeah. But the wheel is still true. Yeah. And the wheel is still... Well, the spokes... The, the actual structure look, of the wheel is still there. Look at the spokes. It's the, just this lip that's the, the lip for the hook is broken. Yeah. But that's impressive that it's got that much strength. Because you... That, that is ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's, it, the sound, and it resonates through your legs, your body, into your arms. You can go... Oh, I'm just, my teeth. You know, <laughs> oh, Smurf blood, that. Look... Oh, dude. Oh, I'm so sorry. But that is what happens when you take a tire off your wheel. Yeah. It's but, not... The, the, what I'm very, have, like, chuffed about, the spokes... The tension's all there. It's all there still. So there's, like, the actual wheel itself... Oh, man, you, you can get home. If you blew a tire and you weigh out on the sticks, you can rely on your rim. I'm, um... That is... Fair play. I can't believe you got down there. Well, nor did I. At the top, I G'd out. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was a goner. Not like this wheels. Well, there you have it. I guess this well, shows just how ridiculously strong these wheels are. Oh, definitely. Look how strong they are. It took that much. We had to remove the tyre. Well, let's, let's be clear. It took improper it, use. Yeah, it did have, yeah. Like, it did. This isn't what the wheel is designed to do. So no. Like, <laughs> no. Leave the wheel alone. <laughs> like, Sorry. It's not designed for this, and it's stood up incredibly well to something that is wa far beyond what it's designed for. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it basically stood up to everything and more that it was designed for. 
impressive. Let us know what you, you think of this in, in the comments section. Um, and also, if you've been impressed by Blake's riding today, <laughs> give it a thumbs up, because... <laughs> do, do it, well, yeah. Hey, anyway. Hats, hats off to you, <laughs> fair one. And thank you very much to Winspace for letting this happen. Yeah, yeah, right. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna go home now. Go and wash um, the bike and... Uh, gonna say a little prayer. <laughs> Love you, bye. Stop it. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs>